This is the 5x2 array mounts over here. And this is what it looks like when you're done. Okay, we've used mismatched panels over here from our yard to, just to kind of get this up. This is east facing in our direction. We can adjust the azimuth. This particular uh, array is, you know, I think it's cheaper to actually get the whole thing than to make it yourself. I'm a make it guy, but this is definitely the way to go. So it comes with center brackets as well, as you can see over there. And it comes with end brackets on the sides over there. So center, center brackets goes. Comes with all the brackets and it excludes the solar panels. Now these solar panels are 320 watt solar panels. Um, they are the 39 and a quarter inch wide by 62 inches long. You can put bigger solar panels and smaller solar panels. You can get more smaller solar panels on. But this is kind of designed for about a 3,300 watt array. So 10 panels at about 300 something watts. If you put the 550 watt panel on, that is almost 92 inches long. So it's way down over here in length, and then it's going to go way up over there in length, and then it's going to be 40 inches, 44 inches wide, so it's going to be wider than this. Um, you could do it if you had to, but um, you're going to run out of space on the sides. So, and you can lengthen the edges too with some Unistrat. We've got Unistrat over here. You can cut the Unistrat and add pieces in the side of here to make it a bit wider. It's very flexible. It's a framework for you to kind of tweak if you have to. Okay, so now we're out of steel required for two of these brackets, for two of these frames. So this is what kind of looks like. If you ordered one of them, it'll be half this amount of steel. Okay, and notice over here, so we'll, I'll be pointing at these pieces now and again to show you where the slots are. And uh, But first, when you get your kit, don't be overwhelmed. The manual is only one page long. So that's why we're making this little video for you. So first of all, lay everything out on the table, measure everything. So what you should do is the 59 inches, 5906, those are the three poles that go in the ground. They're supposed to go like five feet in the ground. Okay, so that is, um, that's the first thing we're going to get. So this unit does come with, this is the steel over here for two brackets, for two of these mounts. So it'd be half of, half of this for one. Now I'm going to run through all the pieces of, the st of steel that uh, come in the kit first thing you do when you get the kit is un uh, unbox it and just put all the pieces that are, uh, are measure them according to length and let's have a look at some of the lengths over here for example i'm not sure if it's better to look at the sun or the shade so first of all this upright piece you can see it says 59 inches and six so that's that's how deep it should be in the ground but the total length of it is 130 126 or so inches 126 inches that is the length of this total pole over here and this is 56 inches in the ground okay so that is your you should get three uprights one two three regardless of which kit you get whether you get the eight or the ten okay then you should also get three of these um pieces over here and then the diagram shows that these are 93 inches long so just put the 93 inch piece these that's these are three um azimuth adjustments you can adjust these and bolt these wherever you want to be and it'll pivot on there then you're going to get three of those on that side as well, and those are 41 inches, okay? Then uh, these long beams over here, there are three of them in the, in the 10 and the 8 kit, and those are 129 inches long. And now, so you've basically got these guys over here. We're going to install these, it shows in the diagram over here. 62.99 inches apart which is basically 63 inches apart is but if you don't space these um, uprights in the ground exactly the same distance it's not a big deal sometimes you hit a rock or something you know you hit something that you cannot put the put the post so you can make the post a bit further out or in it's easy to redrill the holes um, redrill the holes where these go into the frames over here not a big deal okay if you had to move it out a bit we did the same thing look we we hit a big rock over there and we had to drill a hole to put the bolt in there and then you're going to get those angle brackets angle brackets and bolts that's just going to mount you're probably going to get one two three four you're going to get 12 of them in total you're going to get four per run okay that's going to connect the vertical to the horizontal now if you if you've got a 10 solar panel array you're going to get a shorter piece a shorter piece like this and a longer piece, all right? A shorter piece and the longer piece that bolt together with this little plate over here. If you bought the eight panel array, you're just gonna get one longer piece. This 
piece over here instead of being cut over there it's going to be one panel longer okay so that's the eight the difference between the eight and the and the uh, ten panel it's just the length of this horizontal strut over here so um it's pretty simple to put together first of all we just dug the holes uh, 63 inches apart as near as we could got them down there these are not even concreted in these have been in up here two years now I would recommend concreting them in they're pretty they're pretty solid I mean they've seen a few windstorms in their lives and have uh, managed just fine so three uprights there's all the poles three um, cross members that pivot the whole system on and then your four horizontal beams that the panels all connect to and that's pretty much it it is pretty simple once you just lay all the pieces out in the ground identify what they are and you can also identify the uh, the long channels over here by the number of holes they have in them on the on the center they've got three slots in the middle and they've got equal number of slots on the ends for you to adjust the azimuth okay so that's why there's so many slots over here then as far as the these horizontal uh, cross beams that the panels are mounted on those ones have got two holes on the ends a few holes in the centers so those are also easy to to pick out they're pretty um pretty self-explanatory i know you don't some guys say you need a degree to put this thing together but um it's we've got guys that um barely <laughs> no i'm just kidding but uh it's pretty easy and look at the dimensions here's the solar panels we put in here right here have a look here these are 330 watt panels we just had a few panels lying around we stuck up over here these are 330 watt uh, LG panels they're 62 inches by um, 39 and a quarter inches which is was the kind of standard if you had to put wider panels on not a big deal like I mentioned before in the previous clip it's just extending the ends um, you can keep going with this thing so if you wanted to make a 20 panel array or a 40 panel array you could just join end to end and um, you could space these beams out a further apart if you want to and you could just keep going with the same array or the same style um, and all the hardware that comes with it you could probably just use it to extend even further okay price for a single standing unit like this for 10 solar panels is about twelve hundred dollars or twelve just about thirteen hundred dollars um, and we pack it on a pallet for you and it's going to be long uh, long pieces like this on a pallet we'll stack them nice and tight but uh, just realize that when you get to the FedEx freight terminal or if you have them dropped off your house it's going to be something quite long you might have to just take the pieces off individually there's also a box that's on top with a box of bolts and washers and plates all these goodies over here so that's about twelve thirteen hundred dollars for this uh, ten panel array then the eight panel array is just on about a thousand dollars if you had to look at all the steel putting it together yourself with the bolts and nuts the hardware you're going to be almost close to that if not over that and still have to start cutting and welding and all those other things so in my opinion it's the way to go just to have this this rack and array and uh, get it on what's 247com so the 10 panel array what's nice about these smaller panels the 60 cell ones is uh, they're only 40 volts each so putting 10 panels in series it's only 400 volts so you could put a, a 3300 watt array which is 330 watt panels 10 of them in series and you're getting to only 400 volts open circuit so this one array works perfectly for a single MPPT input